guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be looking at our first siege battle sort of talk you through my experience of it and let you know my thoughts and opinions um so i'm in the ung zephyr clan very very strong clan uh boozer is actually our clan leader and we went up against obs one so i've played against these guys a lot in live arena they are mega whale krakens they are so strong um and also they're French. So yeah, went up against these guys. Spoiler alert, we did get absolutely wrecked. The disrespect was unreal. Um, yeah, so let's just have a look at our defense first. So with defense, um, you know, we spent a week planning this out, um, putting all of our best players in the stronghold, then like sort of the second tier into the magic tower and uh, sorry, mana shrine, magic tower and defense tower. And yeah, I just feel like we spent a lot of time sort of playing this out. And I had a feeling this was going to happen that, you know, you put all this energy and effort into it and they literally wrecked us in under like three hours. Um, they just came straight down post two, eight, 10, 15, five, and then straight for the stronghold. And that was it. It was just game over. So not the the craziest defense as you've seen but still very very strong i would not like to go against some of these um, i don't think they actually had a single loss against us as well which is pretty disgusting um but yeah so you can see these are like the sort of team comps they brought in to beat us <laughs> woo fat <laughs> i love it great name um but yeah you can see here we just got destroyed um i don't think that that's hades that's not the real hell Hades, is it? I don't know. I don't think it is. But yeah, just absolutely wrecked us. And it's kind of funny to think that, you know, they've spent like four, five years working on this game mode. And literally, you can just go straight up this path. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You need to beat six people to get straight to the stronghold. It doesn't really make sense to me. Um, <clears throat> I just feel that They've made it really, really complicated with all these towers all over the place and whatever. And you literally can just avoid all of that. You don't even need to touch it. You just want to go straight to the stronghold to get that W. Of course, if you do take out magic towers and magic mana shrines and defense towers afterwards, you do get bonus points and you can get better gear and stuff. But um, yeah, I just feel like it needs like a massive rework, to be honest. I just feel like it's nowhere near where it should be. So for the attack, you can see we've not actually taken everything out just yet. Again, I feel like we just followed the same strategy as they did, um, just a little bit slower. And then we sort of went against their teams. I did take out one team in the stronghold. This was a crazy team comp. I've never seen it before, um, but it has really, really good synergy. So Ancora reviving Sigmund Freud. Sigmund is like just constantly reviving the team that block damage um and then also Necred throwing out um ally protection and also like when Harima and Wukong's like AoE skills go on cooldown Ulmer Death Knight soaking up all that damage nasty nasty team comp um it did take me 12 minutes to win that fight as well um I maybe I should have brought in Lydia but the reason I brought in Elva is just that she heals, she also revives, and she, to be fair, I didn't need to cleanse this team. They've got no debuffers there. But um, I would have probably lost, though, if I did bring in Lydia, because um, Duchess did get dropped by Sigmund. So actually, bringing Elva was the right call. It's just a very, very slow fight. Maybe I could have brought in Rotus instead of Harima. Um, it's just because I saw I'm Death Knight. I was like, oh, that's a bit of a no-no. But actually, it would have definitely probably half the time because his block revive would start popping off. But yeah, you can see sort of the rest of the team comps that uh, sort of we used to beat them. And I think everyone thought, yeah, Dams was probably like the hardest team comp to go against. That is really, really nasty. Hard, hard to beat. So fair play to T sorting that out for us. But yeah, so I feel like, um, yeah, there's so much sort of strategy and thinking into it, but actually 
it's very, very basic and so simple and easy that it just needs like a massive rehaul. I don't know if they should change it more into like sort of like Doom Tower and you sort of build up or maybe just reduce the amount of pathways there are and each post should have three mans in the in the defense. I don't know. Um, and I think the other thing that I would probably put in there is that if someone sort of goes into this, then they're locked in. So when I was in the Mana Shrine, uh, you, you know, I'm in gold two for Tag Arena. Um, I can push into gold three if I want. But here, you know, that is like usually like sort of the defense I roll with. Um, so what I do is I sort of lock them out. It, well, I don't know. How it works with like Tag Arena is that I try on my first team, I just put loads together so that they have to use like a lot of resources and just waste it on team one and then they'll struggle with team two and three. So that's like my strategy behind it. But obviously with this, you've got 30 people that can hit you and it's not going to be hard for them to actually to win. So let's see, what do I go up against? Yeah. Yeah, no, no surprise there. Uh, I do know that's like obviously an obvious weakness with this team. Like with Wukong, you bring that block revive, it's an easy win. I guess the only thing is though, is that with our mans though, he can just lock an entire team out by himself, especially if he goes down to one, one V one or one V two, you know, he can just lock a team out. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's interesting, but, um, I don't know what you guys think about for me. I think it's a failure. It's, it's a massive failure just to think, you know, we spent like a week to build this out and literally it is so simple just to sort of get straight to the stronghold. I don't feel there's any like real strategy really involved with this. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it's great? Do you think it's a disappointment? What would you do to make this game mode a hundred times better? Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.